All right, so this is not a modeling tutorial. I made this. It's a little tiny light bulb, and I want to actually import this into Gears of War so I can light some stuff up using a material on it. Okay, so this needs to be exported. And now that I have that Collada exporter, I can just go export selection, square box. I guess I should show you UVs. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Back it up. In here. On this object, I just clicked on it. I went to create UVs. Automatic mapping. Okay, that'll put all these fancy UVs on it. I'm not really worried about like UV structure. This is going to have a very um, uniformed texture on it. So I don't worry about that. It's going to be just a square. No, no fancy stuff on it. Now I'm just going to go into its UV texture editor. And you notice I have all the UVs on it. If I want something though to look kind of cool, what I want to do is take the face, take all these faces in this general area, kind of rotate around, make sure I have it. This bottom part, I want it to have like a different material or no UVs. Okay? So I just hold control, right click, and go to UVs. And then in here, I can go delete UVs. So now it doesn't even think it has UVs in that area. Therefore, textures won't show up on it. File, export selection, and I'm going to choose DAE Colada and call it light bulb. Put it on the desktop. Okay, so in the Unreal Engine, I've done a few things, so don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly all that I've done in the previous few hours. In here, let's see, just kind of rotate around. I got a fireplace, so I want to teach you lights from a, a natural source, and I also want to teach you lights from an ill natural source. But I need this light bulb, so oops, you're not supposed to see that. Ignore the light bulb, okay? So, in here, I want to make a new package, so I'll go to the top, packages, file, new. I'm going to call this lights. Group, I'm going to call it material for some reason right here. And I'm going to call it light bulb. Okay, so in here I want to choose material and hit OK. This will make a package with, with a group in it. And I have to have show all resources types on. lights and it made this. Okay, so in this package what I want to do is now make sure I highlight it and go file import light bulb. Light bulb name lights and I'm just going to hit okay. I'm going to choose this and hit okay. There we go. Now what I need to do is take and make a material for this light bulb. So I'm going to right click and go to material editor. And this could take a minute. Material editor is one of those long mythical things. Do 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 do. Okay, so here we go. Now, I'm not going to actually use any material. I'm going to use just simple shaders. So I'm going to choose a vector parameter. Yeah, vector parameter and click and drag it out. 
Now these vector parameters are real nice because I could just change the color. We'll get into the, all this stuff, but for right now, vector parameters are really easy for the noob. So this one, I'm going to click on it right here and choose, that was the little magnify glass, and choose a blue and then rank this up just a little bit and hit OK. And hit real time preview. Also, I'm going to drag another one out here and make a white. And hit OK. And again, real time preview. So what I want to do here is this one, I want to be uh, the emissive. Emissive emits light. See? Very cool. But I also want a diffuse to run everything else. So I get this. Oops, emissive. You can actually keep it on specular too. It makes a really cool thing. So there is my glowing light bulb material. Very cool. And you can play around and plug these in different places. You learn a lot by doing that, trust me. So let's close this out and hit yes. And in my light bulb, I'm going to go into it right click and static mesh editor another long sequence occurs where the static mesh editor launches and I get this see this is where I deleted the UVs and this is where I got them okay so in here I go to LOD info down 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 and I have this material huh well it has none so what I want to do is add something here. So if I go over here and click this material, go in here and click the little green arrow, I have light bulb. There we go. Sweet. And it's showing up at the bottom right now, but I doubt it's going to show up in the engine. So let's close this out. And this isn't showing up because it's really small. Before we even play around with it, which was going to, going to be our next lesson. I'm going to save this. I'm going to save package as my documents, my games, Gears of War, War Games, Unpublished, Cook PC, and I'm going to save it under Lights. Now you must copy that directory at the end of class to uh, your thumb drive or the nerds will take and delete your folder at the end of the shift. So just be wary of that. They love to restart these computers at work. Um, it's one of their pet peeve passions. It's a right to nerd them. So I'm going to just click on the floor. Click on this. Click on the floor. Right click. Add actor. And add static mesh actor. And there's my little itty bitty light bulb. Oh, isn't he cute? He's like a little um, Christmas tree light. Now, I want to kind of show you something. What will happen is some people will have this on. And you'll have this going on. Okay, just know that if you have this icon, for some odd reason it does it when you first import your first mesh in. Trust me, I've been doing this a while inside the classroom. That little button right there somehow gets magically clicked on. And then all the students are trying to move their objects around and nobody can figure it out. So make sure this is unchecked. So now that I have this, the light bulb, in the next lesson I get to show you how to use the light bulb. And in a ne another lesson I get to start using particles and dynamic lighting. Alright, so that is it. That's importing a very simple mesh into the Unreal Engine and adding a new material to it.